a d i k a Welcome to Thailand Today. Tourism is among the main contributors of Thailand's DGP. COVID-19 has severely impacted the sector. Wrecking havoc on the hospitality sector and operators in popular tourist provinces, and the government has created a special visa called the Special Tourist Visa or STV to cater the qualified uh, tourists who would like to come to Thailand. To ensure the safety of the people in Thailand, a Department of Disease Control is working around the clock to make sure appropriate measures are in place. So today we are joined by Dr. Thanarak p l i p a t He is the Deputy Director General of the Department of Disease Control, Ministry of Public Health. He will tell us and will take his, uh, talking to us about uh, STV and COVID-19 disease control measures in the country. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ Welcome back to t h a i l a n d program, sir. Well, so excited to sit here. Such a colorful <laughs> chart here. The background. Can you tell us this is so-called uh, the emergency uh, operation centers? Uh, uh, um, We operate here. So we used to operate here during the COVID-19, um, and currently, um, since the situation is is getting better, uh, yes. um, so we use this room a little bit less Ooh. than usual. So today we have a chance to be able to to sit in this room. I know. During the peak, nobody are allowed to be oh, in oh, this really? room so, um, uh. since there are a lot of information flowing, yeah. and there's there are, there were a lot of. A lot of sensitive information that yeah. flowing around. So um, during that times, um, nobody is allowed into this into this room. Yes, so, um, yeah. Currently, ah. with the situation getting better, Get better. so ah. we use this room a little bit less. Well, Blood is uh, honored to be here anyway to get to know it. So now we're going to talk about good news for the Kingdom of Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> Good news or not, I don't know. But uh, we're talking about uh, special tourist visa, yes. uh, STV. So, who's eligible to be here? Um, currently, we are. Our situation is getting better. Yes. Um, so uh-huh. we are thinking about um, helping our country, mm. our economies, a little mm. bit better. Mm. Um, there are a lot of requests from outside um, mm. to bring in more. Um, travelers, more mm. tourists into the countries. Yeah. So the department yeah. is helping the, the the tourism sectors a little bit oh, nice. by helping um, design the travels so that it is safety enough mm. and can bring in the mm. Um, mm. the income into mm. the countries. Mm-hmm. So um, is the tourism authority of Thailand proposed these programs called STV, STV yes. to bring in special um, to, uh, to bring in the tourists. STV stand for um, special tourist visa. Special visas. tourism visa, yes. Um, and we expecting um, since we we know that manage the short term and the long term tourists. Uh, if if we can choose uh, um, manage the long term tourists but... is a little bit easier. Uh-huh. Um, If we can have a long, I mean, long stay tourist, that will benefit the countries a little mm. bit more, and mm. is uh, is less work to mm. work with those kind of of, of tourists. Mm. So, mm. this pro this project is mm. aimed on the the tourists who would like to come in mm. and stay within the kingdoms longer yeah. than usual, so instead okay. of of coming in a yeah. few days and go back. Yeah, yeah. Um, special t- um, tourist visa is ex- expecting and looking for. The tourists who can stay very long, uh-huh. um, for example, 90 days up to 270 days. Yes. Um, so um, we are going to issue the visas that uh-huh. is about um, 90 days long. Oh. And oh. then um, the Three tourists, months. if they want to stay longer, uh-huh. they can extend this visa mm. twice. So that is oh. about of 270 de- uh, 70 days. Almost a year. Almost a year. <laughs> um, the longer they stay, uh, um, I think it's the better, better for us. For, for us, yes. Uh. And um, since we can do the quarantine just. Mm. For just once, and then they can stay ah. long. So that should be better than. I mean, you can imagine if we would like to bring in short-term visas, uh-huh. um, short-term tourists who would mm. like to stay just for let's say about a month, mm. and then we have to work on quarantine. Another quite a 14 lot. here, 14 right. there. Right. So, 
the longer the tour stay is easier for us um, to to operate, yeah. um, and it's also to me I think it's it's um, safer as well. Mm. And talking about safety, I would like mm. to also emphasize Please. that it is the name of the games here. Oh. We are not trying to just think about uh, the income. Okay. Because we all know that if there is anything happen in the countries, mm. let's say if there is any outbreak of, yeah. of or there is a report of more cases, yeah. nobody want to come. Last. So mm -hmm. right. So um, safety is the name of the game is here. So mm. I would like to to say that no matter who say a bad thing about it, Ministry, Ministry of Public Health really concerned about safety. Mm. So mm. everything we do. Everything mm. we plan, mm. we really focus on the tourists that come in, mm. and we can cover e everything. Mm. We can uh, arrange for mm. um, anything that could happen, mm -hmm. and try to prevent any outbreak of the disease that can that can mm. that the tourists okay. may bring in. Yeah. So I would like to again. I uh, uh. would like to. Um, say that say, but emphasize that, of, uh, of public health really concerned, concerned on the safety this. and also uh -huh. would like to um, help the countries yes, by sir. designing mm. the program that is safe for the countries and also generate the income for the country. Yeah. This is a trust and we believe in you. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Working well. <laughs> but by the way, has this begun already? Um, this it has been planned, but uh -huh. um, since since then, um, yeah, actually, some, the something. first group of, yeah. of tourists. Yes. Um, yes, when, sir. When we have mm. the f first mm. press conference mm. should should arrive yeah. on October eight, but since yes. um, we are not ready yet, uh -huh. um, so now we postpone the first trip and to I mean um, uh -huh. later this month. Uh -huh. But then hopefully we can bring in the first group of uh -huh. tourists um, later this month. What area or provinces did you think about? Um, At the south. The, the, um, the, to be to, to the tourists to be here okay. to since, get the uh, since the first group of since the first group of tourists will still need to be quarantined for fourteen days. It, it still, um, mm. It's now depending on where the first group of traveler will land. Ah. If they land at Swanapum, so they will be quarantined nearby the airport. Okay. If they if the flight um, reach um, Phuket, then the quarantine will be done in Phuket. Okay. So at the moment we are checking which groups will will arrive first. Oh. Um, but as as I mentioned, both yes. um, I mean mm. the travelers mm -hmm. will need to stay in the mm -hmm. hotel mm -hmm. um, for fourteen days for mm -hmm. quarantines. And mm -hmm. after we clear that they are not infected, mm -hmm. then they are allowed to move around the countries, um, mm -hmm. just like um, other groups of of um, Thai peoples mm -hmm. and also um, the businessmen who now mm -hmm. um, has arrived in Bangkok in in Thailand. Mm -hmm. I would like to mention here. Yes, that since the closure of the country, the the close of the countries, uh, uh, now we have more than one hundred thousand travelers, Thai and foreigners, yes. who flew into the countries um, uh, and has been quarantined. Um, we we work with quarantine quite a lot, and mm. we would like to raise its standard mm. so that um, we know that we in the country is now safe. So we 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 are not risk bringing in um, the, the patient from, from mm. outside. Mm. Um, talking about this, um, I would like to again um, re-emphasize that mm. this, um, we are not just thinking about just in safety. safety. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there will be how many batches would be coming for the first, first batch, second batch or something? How, um, how do you manage with that? Okay. There will be uh, there will be a, a groups or, or companies yeah. that will that will um, sell these um, ideas these ideas uh -huh. to the tourists. Yes, sir. And since mm -hmm. this is a, a, a fourteen day quarantine, mm -hmm. so they can operate with any countries. Mm -hmm. um, as mm -hmm. far as I know, um, the first the very first um, groups may be from China. From China. Yes, okay. and some of the tourists may be from from the European country as well. Oh. Um, um, when when saying this, I, I I know that everybody may think that well. Um, now we have a second wave yeah. of COVID nineteen yes. in, in in European countries. Why uh, risking this? Yeah. But um, as I mentioned earlier, um, they are all have to go through fourteen day quarantines. Yes. So after they come out of the quarantines, uh, we should expect that that they should be cleared. Uh. There has been a confusion recently 
about um, number about of the, I mean the, about the infection after quarantine, yeah. if that's possible. Uh, I would like to I would like to say that although there may be a report of testing positive among some of the some of the tourists uh, who has um, been through 14 day quarantine mm. and then later on were tested positive for COVID-19. Mm. Those are not newly infection or the infection that occur after 14 day of quarantine. Mm. But those are the, I mean, the, the genetic materials of COVID-19 that mm. may still um, be detectable mm -hmm. after they have been, I mean, they have been infected and has been clear of any symptoms. Mm. Um, those are not, those are not transmissible. Yes. So, I would like to, to emphasize again that 14 uh, days quarantine okay. is adequate and safe uh -huh. and it has been used all over the, the world without any problem reported. Okay, all right. So we're going to take a little break and come back again. Let's take a quick break and we're back with more of Thailand Today. Don't go. COVID-19 Warriors. We will not give up. Thank you for protecting us during the COVID-19 crisis. Thank you to the chefs who kept people full. Thank you to the dancers who helped create happiness in this dark period. Most importantly, thank you, the Thai people who have bravely endured this epidemic together. We will not give up. We can and we will to redefine the future of our nation. Let's join hands, COVID-19 warriors. Welcome back once again. You are watching Thailand today. We'll continue our discussion with Dr. Tanarag Pat, who has been sharing details on the special tourist visa aimed at drawing long-term tourists to Thailand. Well, sir, very interesting. We just wanted to continue a little bit on that part of the batches. So the first batch should be tourists from China? Yes. Why do we so sure about uh, um, China is, ha, uh, has, has been the country that has been first affected yes, and they can control the epidemic very well. Oh, yes. um, they, in some province, mm. when, we, when we say one province, yeah. China is just mm. like one country. <laughs> huge, because they have paid, huge right? land. And there are uh, a, lot of, a lot of people there. Um, um, when we say about Wuhan, if you remember, that well, was, the that's size originated. of Wuhan is, is, is a little bit smaller than, than Thailand, uh, but the population size is just roughly the same as Thailand. Wow! So one province is like just one country, yeah. and some province in China is even bigger and more populated than, than in Thailand. Mm. So there are several provinces in China that has controlled the, the epidemic very well, mm. has been um, less affected, and mm. there's not many cases, mm. and they haven't been reported any confirmed case for ah. more than 200 days. Okay. So we expected that if there is any case uh, still left uh, ah. undetected, yes. it should be very minimal, oh. um, so that it's go undetectable for so many days. Mm. So I would like to say that if we compare Thailand to China, in some province of China, the risk of having the patients or infected confirmed infected patient may be roughly the same. Mm. Um, so yes. bringing in um, the traveler from low risk countries mm. will, not, will, not, will not risk the country that much. Mm. Um, but with, with, as I mentioned earlier, with the quarantine period of 14 days, mm. we can even bring in the travelers from, mm. from a higher risk countries uh, yeah. um, as well. Uh -huh. So we start off with China and uh, next um, there has been, I have been told that there may be some of the tourists from Scandinavian countries, like Sweden, mm. that would like to come in. Mm. And I would like to, this is the statistic that I have, that I have been told by some mm. of my friends who yes, are in Sweden, mm. that mm. at any times before COVID, usually there will be um, a lot of, a lot of um, Swedish who stay mm. in Thailand. Um, Retirement? No, Age, um, no? they they just um, 
just take a vacation wow. out of winters because mm. we all know that Sweden has a very, mm. very severe winters. Yeah. So at any times there will be around one percent of Swedish population who stay in Thailand ah. before COVID. Ah, yes, yes. So I mean, um, it's a privilege of the country. And one right. choose to be here, even in, during this uh, global <laughs> pandemic, right. but right. still choosing to be in Thailand. It yes. is very interesting. At the moment, if you ask me, what is the the big ob obstacle of mm. running these programs? Mm. Is is trying to make our Thai people understand <laughs> um, and, uh, and really understand uh. that we have been heavily affected. Yeah. Um, I I would like to say that even now when there is no COVID-19 in the countries, mm -hmm. it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that mm -hmm. COVID-19 did not have an effect on us. Yes, We have yes. a lot of people mm -hmm. who get poorer. We have some, some mm -hmm. a lot of people who mm -hmm. get unemployed mm -hmm. just yep. because of COVID-19. Exactly. So we have exactly. to try to solve those problems as well. Mm -hmm. If we are not solve those problems quickly, mm -hmm. then it will become mm -hmm. uh, bigger, bigger of a problem. Then yeah. it's, uh, it's, it should take time and a lot of a lot of effort to solve yeah. those problems. Yeah. So, what are the uh, safety measures being taken before and after the entry of these tourists? Um, there are a lot of things that we do. Mm -hmm. um, we we standardize all of the alternative um, quarantine site. Mm -hmm. um, we train the hotel staff so that they can run uh, the quarantine site safely. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows the rules and regulation mm -hmm. that that we impose. Mm -hmm. um, every hotel will be um, inspect before they accept any any tourists. Oh, yeah. um, we have a teams that that go in and inspect the hotel. Um, uh. If there is anything that may cause any risk, we are going to ask the hotel to improve that, um, that's the way they operate before uh. we allow them to, to have the tourists. Uh. So we are operating uh. at a very high standard. Mm. And if the hotel run their hotel or done the, run their quarantine site as we, as we um, wrote in our standard, yes, then everybody will be safe. Uh -huh. And during when the when tourists arrive, there will be also a inspect inspection that may happen okay. um, randomly, uh -huh. so that we make sure that the hotel uh -huh. operate the, uh, the so, quarantine site. So this is the tourists and choose at will, or what? Um, when they arrive as a group, they will stay as a group. Um, so far, uh -huh. um, this is not this is separate from other other arrival okay. uh, they come in a group okay. and uh, there will be a, a companies or tour companies that will be already appointed already right. yeah okay. right so they will stay in the same hotel uh -huh. um, and stay in the same period uh -huh. and then after 14 days they can go as they wish there may be some things that that everybody is still afraid of. For example, if there is um, the disease that may <laughs> run out from the quarantine site, yeah. um, we would like to ensure that um, everything, everything, I mean, um, including the disposal, the sewage, and everything. Those stuff, things, yeah. um, we are going to manage mm -hmm. that very well. Very interesting because uh, we are more concerned about Thai people only right. because, uh, what, because they have to come out. After 14 days, they have to come out for shopping right. to associate with the people around that. So uh, uh, they're reluctant. So for in this case, so is it make known, sir? Do, do, do you make known to the, for the people? Supposing, okay, Phuket is a, there's a place. Right. Do you, how much do you talk to them? How much do people accept it for this kind of... Uh, of course, there, there may be some, some, uh, some, some bodies who uh, may still very reluctant yeah. and, and may think that and may question if this um, project or if this operation mm. will be safe enough. Yes. So we, we, we still have to work with those uh, mm. people. Mm. Uh, make sure that um, they understand what we do mm. and mm. and mm. make sure that as i as i mm. mentioned so so many times mm. that is actually we operate this under under the mm. assumption of um, safety is the name of the game um, the this game. is very important for mm. us um, if we want to if we want to have a, um, a lot of tourists incoming we cannot just have one groups and then just get it and then we have an outbreak of the disease yeah, it's so challenging um, we have to be we have to be very very careful and I would mm. like to say that we plan it very carefully 
<laughs> this is a challenging game yes. very much right. and, and of all the countries in the globe mm -hmm. global this thailand That's has right. taken a really brave step to do so right just mm, right i mm. think one thing is that people may not understand that every may th everybody may think that covid will end soon mm. it is not not it it's not. a year or so so we have to in the end we have to live with covid 19. Yeah. In the end, COVID-19 will, will arrive in Thailand once mm. again. Mm. And then we have to, to stay with it, to live with it um, safely. We need your advisor. Why don't you advise to the people or calm them down, let them understand a uh, half a minute for that, please. Okay, thank you very much. Um, for all Thai, uh, we still have to, have to live our life uh, under new normals. We have to still um, wearing masks when we are going outside, try to avoid a crowded place, wash your hand frequent and avoiding take your hand to touch your eyes, your nose and your mouth um, and eat clean food, um, well cooked and using our common spoon. Um, those will help you and your families from um, contact COVID-19. Thailand remains uh, a very uh, popular tourist destination for many people in their minds. They, as soon as uh, flights are available or as soon as the tourism schemes like this one are, are open, many people have been uh, wanting to return uh, to Thailand because we are very uh, attractive and a very uh, popular destination. Um, however, of course, I think it's very understandable um, that these days uh, the context is, is different. Uh, many countries around the world have uh, less tourists or have uh, delayed uh, the incoming of, of, of tourists. The uh, COVID measures are still in place. There is still a need to quarantine uh, every single person coming into Thailand. And I think this is something that's happening um, around the world in many countries. Uh, we have to, of course, uh, sacrifice our time in, 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 in going to quarantine. And that's what has made Thailand Kind of like one of the safer countries for for covid so uh, i i'm aware of the uh, views of many foreign nationals and tourists around the world who want to come to thailand so firstly the quarantine is still mandatory uh, it's still uh, very necessary uh, but at the moment there are now many many options of quarantine facilities uh, from the cheaper uh, price ones to the more expensive ones the alternative state quarantine i think they number over 70 uh, hotel choices now um, and some are, uh, have a less, are, are less costly than, than, than others. Uh, it's something that, of course, uh, has to be a prerequisite before uh, entering the country to, to continue the, the tourism. And of course, <clears throat> when they tour around Thailand, I think right now the trend is that it is more of, a, uh, more of quality uh, tourism around the world. It's not only in Thailand. So less of mass tourism that we saw in the past, uh, less of that because it uh, does not uh, pollute uh, different areas, which is very good, and more and more of the quality uh, tourists. So I guess the context has changed, but nevertheless, Thailand remains a very uh, interesting, attractive tourist destination for for actually all all all, all budgets. Um, as for the in terms of the there's an issue about the uh, dual pricing as, as well, in which the tourism authority of Thailand and the Ministry of Tourism um, are addressing uh, this issue. As you would know, um, Thailand has been ranked uh, very highly uh, in many international rankings, even of uh, international organizations and many countries have allowed uh, Thai citizens to enter their country without quarantine because we are one of the top countries that have been able to control uh, the COVID situation. But of course that takes sacrifice. We still have to be vigilant. So this is just to assure that Thailand will remain uh, vigilant in terms of COVID, even though we are ranked uh, top. Thailand will remain a safe uh, place, a safe uh, haven uh, to be hopefully uh, COVID free. Our measures are still rigid. Our people are still cooperative and uh, we hope that people around the world will uh, maintain the confidence that they have in Thailand in terms of our uh, health measures, in terms of the future post COVID uh, economy as well, in terms of the potential that we are or that we have been and that we are in terms of as a, an investment destination, a tourist destination, a destination for foreign students to come in and study and, and uh, people to do business. So that confidence is, we're building on that confidence in the years ahead, particularly first next year, and then of course, in the years ahead. So full confidence for Thailand.
Thank you very much, sir, and uh, wish you all the best Thank you very for much. your undertaking challenging work. Unfortunately, uh, we have uh, now run out of our time, so thank you so much, Dr. Tanarak Pleepat, Deputy Director General of the Department of Disease Control, Ministry of Public Health, for clarifying the details and updates on the special tourist visa as well as disease control measures in place. So that's all for now, and we have a few episodes for you. This is Thailand today. I'm Kusama Yotasmut. Thank you for tuning to our program.